Alrighty, so in this video, we're actually going to take a look at our Maven Central Repository. And again, this is really just an academic exercise. Uh, I'm your tour guide. I'm giving you this backstage tour of the Maven Central repo. You normally wouldn't have to go through this process yourself, but again, we're learning stuff, so we're going to look at everything behind the scenes. Backstage, baby. So let's go ahead and open up this URL in our browser, uh, repo.mavenapache.org slash maven2 and this will give us this directory so this is like the real maven repository on the internet this is the maven central repository the real stuff yeah we're backstage and let's go ahead and kind of scroll down i'll actually search for this directory called org org let's kind of search down so i'll take this org directory and i'll go ahead and click the link to kind of go into it And now that I'm at org, I actually want to move down to hibernate. So I'm looking for this org hibernate. So just go ahead and scroll down a search for hibernate here. And that's the item that you want. Go ahead and select the link there for hibernate. And we're looking for hibernate core. So we're almost there, right? So about the middle of the screen, there's a link there for hibernate core. Go ahead and select that one. All right, so all the Hibernate versions, okay, we're almost there, I promise. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move down to our version. Uh, in this video, we're using this 5.2.11.final. And then there we go. So this is where the Hibernate jar files are hosted. So when we add a dependency for Hibernate in our palm.xml file, this is where Maven will actually go to the Maven central repository online It'll grab these jar files and then it'll pull them down and store them into our local repository. So this is all the, this is the real stuff right here uh, that Maven will use uh, when it's downloading things from the internet. Now, again, this is really just an academic exercise, right? The backstage tour. Uh, normally when you want to access these items, you simply give the uh, Maven dependency or the Maven coordinates for that given project. So normally you'll simply just go through and search uh, the Maven Central repo and get it in the normal fashion. So again, we've seen this before, right? So I'll go to this search.maven.org and this will give us a search engine for the central repository. So we don't have to manually dig through it like we did in the previous uh, steps there. We can simply just search for like type in Hibernate Core and then it'll give us all the information, right? So this is the normal user interface uh, that you would use. Um, so here I have my search results. I'll go ahead and just choose that 5.2.11.final. So again, over on the left-hand side, the project information, the dependency information. So that dependency info, we'd normally just do a little copy-paste and put that into our uh, Maven Palm file. So one thing I'd like to point out is at the top of this screen, they have a reference Browse Central 4 or Hibernate, Hibernate Core. Hmm, click that link and wow. So that takes me directly to the repo behind the scenes that we saw a little earlier. So we manually went there, but now using this link, we can jump there with this quick shortcut. So anyways, just wanted to show you um, this remote Maven repo, the central repository, and the behind the scenes tour of looking at the files that are out there, and then also how we can use our normal interface of searching for it, but then still making it to that uh, behind the scenes or backstage location. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying this little tour here of Maven and in particular these Maven repos. Alrighty, so I have more good stuff coming up for you. I'll see you in the next video.